Hey friends, uh, today we are going to talk about uh, encoding affine ciphers and we will go through the steps of how you can encode it. <clears throat> so this is a affine cipher which appeared in uh, Sylvania, Ohio Invitational in December 2023. So uh, the Goal was to encode a code from Chris Jammy with an affine cipher of A equal to, to seven and B equal to five. Right? Find a purpose to serve, not a lifestyle to live. So let's talk about the steps uh, to solving an affine cipher. So first thing is that we, we need uh, the mapping, the uh, numerical mapping to each of those uh, alphabets. And the steps, right? The first step is to decide a strategy. Like what, whether you want to decode selective alphabets or just decode all the alphabets and then figure out how to, uh, how to how to use those uh, de uh, decoded or encoded values for your plain text or for your cipher text. So so that is one. We will walk through different strategies. Second one is to encode or decode all the relevant uh, alphabets. And once you have decoded everything or encoded the alphabets, you go ahead and encode the plain text. Or in this case, we will be including the plain text, but you can also use the same thing to decode the cipher text. So let's get started on this uh, on this code and move to this to step one. So step one, what we have here is that we know that this encoded X, right? The generic formula for that is AX plus B mod 26, where X refers to the to the value of the alphabet from this table, right? So for you, the X would be 20. Uh, so for this specific uh, cipher, we are given A equal to seven and B equal to five. So that's what we will use. So this is the specific formula for, for this uh, encoding. So let's get started. So what we will do now is we will start looking at, so in this case, the strategy we will use is that we will try to find out what all alphabets have been used in this code and, and find the encoded value only for those alphabets, right? So I, I kind of went ahead and I kind of mapped the alphabets which are to be, to be encoded. So the, this is the set here and we will start encoding, right? So for, we will start encoding F here. So F is five out here, right? So seven times five plus five mod, mod 26, that, that is something what F will be, right? Seven times five plus five mod 26, which is 40 mod 26, which is 14 and 14 here maps to O, right? So. Encoding of F is O. So that's what it is showing. Similarly, we'll go on and start encoding uh, I. So I is again the eighth uh, alphabet or the, the numeric value is eight, right? So we go ahead and seven times eight plus five, mod 26 is 61 times uh, mod 26 which is nine, right? Two times 26 is 52. 61 minus 52 is nine. So that ninth is J. So we will, uh, so I becomes J. So we will go ahead and type in J out here. Okay. So this is how we will keep going, right? We'll go to N and D and then we will find that N, N is encoded as S and D is encoded as A, right? So we are we are going forward here and then A, A is encoded as F. In this case, there is just a shift of five, which is, which is F here. Okay, so, so we do this, right? We continue doing this for, for a purpose right, the whole letters, uh, alphabet set, uh, which make a purpose here. And we find that uh, these result to different, uh, uh, these are encoded uh, differently here, right? So we go ahead and populate that those values, encoded values for 
purpose, whatever uh, the alphabets which make purpose, and then T here for two, right? We are we are up to here. So T is uh, T is nineteen out here, right? So nineteen times seven times nineteen plus five is one thirty eight. 138 mod 26 is 8. So that's how T becomes I. Or T is encoded as I. So we continue doing this. Uh, I think there are only few alphabets remaining to be decoded now or encoded now. So we have V, L, and Y. And with that, right, we get we, we get encoding for all the alphabets which make up our code. And once we are done with this, we will go ahead and start uh, putting those values. So F-I-N-D is actually O-J-S-A, right? Uh, A maps to F, so F is here. Purpose, P-U-R, so P-U-R is G-P, G-P-U. Uh, P is again G, O is Z. S is B and E is H. Right? So we go ahead and populate uh, the encoding for purpose. T O is I Z. We populate that. We populate uh, the encoded values for serve out here. And this is how you continue, right? So this this is the encoding. This is how you do the encoding here. And I mean, we can just continue here. So this is this is the this is the encoding for the plain text we had. In the next video, we will talk about uh, decoding. So, in in short, we followed a, a three step strategy. First was to uh, go ahead and and decide uh, what we want to do. It whether we want to encode only selective alphabets which make up the code, or we go ahead and in, in uh, encode all the alphabets. There are pros and cons. It may, makes it becomes easier to encode all, all the alphabets. You just go one at a time and it, it's faster. There's a pattern you can use, make use of the pattern. So once you have decided the strategy, you can decode all alphabet or, uh, or uh, encode all alphabets or relevant alphabets. And once you have done that, we can use those to encode the plain text or decode the cipher text as, as the situation may be.